Oh, do you know, I think I missed the streamers battle. I'm always missing them. Okay, we're playing a 45-15. Long play game. It is the night time, so I'm probably expecting them to just blob and not play the whole game. Okay, so we'll just bring the bishop here like we do. Stop in the night. For a brief moment. Been doing some learning. Been looking at my. Um, I've had a, this book for years now. So what is it? 101 ways to be a, a grandmaster, and it's like um, a puzzle book, tactics book. And I'm halfway through, and I keep going back to the beginning and working my way through, so I know all of the patterns up until the halfway point. And I think it's really quite good. So I do it over the board, you know, put the pieces on the board with the patterns that they've got and then work out the, um, the strategies and stuff. You notice how I'm staying away from the word tactics because I'm not a tactics player. So I'm castling here. So it's been very interesting and yeah, got halfway through. I've got a few pages annotated, which um, I like the puzzles of or the ones where I really struggle understanding. And I'm trying to get my head around what it is they're trying to tell me. I've worked out how they do it, but it's like, I, I just don't play like that. So I'm trying to get my head into that. So we could take this knight. Pawn takes, knight moves, attacks the bishop type situation. Or we could just wait a little bit and just bring the bishop here. Could have gone for an x-ray through to the queen as well. But I just feel they're just going to chop the pawn. I'm not sure I'm bringing the bishop back here to come here because it's like in a stone wall here. So they've taken. We're going to take with the queen because if they take with the bishop, then we can take the bishop back. If we took with the knight, then we'd, we'd have to take with the pawn. No problem taking with the pawn because it does open up the file a little bit. So the knight is coming in greedy munching the queen. It's a single attack, it's making space for his queen, but his queen will get hit by the knight. We can just move the queen back a little bit. There's no diagonal for it to go towards here. It can come here as well, keeping the white square diagonal if the queen's deciding to come here. So I think we'll stay on the diagonal for now. There's no rush, it's um, 45 minutes and 15 seconds and both of us, we haven't even broken the 45 minute mark yet. So now they're thinking, I've got space around this king now. I should be able to do something with my queen. Can I get my queen here, come here, come here type thing? So that's what they're planning. Oh, they're actually bringing the rook in. So the rook's going to come across here. So we may as well hit this knight before they start getting settled. I don't think that needs too much um, narration and calculation. So they do go back. Queen could go for the x-ray through to their queen, but same with the um, bishop. He's just going to drop the pawn, I believe. We might just move the queen off of the line and um, get some sort of attack here. Not too meaty. Could go there, but it just brings the pawn here. I don't mind that type of position. You know, when you put your pawn there and stuff like that. I'm okay with that. Is there any rush to do anything? I was, I've also been looking at a pawn break type um, strategies and maneuvers with the pawn breaks, you know, hitting when to break and when not to break type thing. If we hit this pawn it takes, then his knight and his rook are actually on this pawn. So we go one, he takes, and then if we take back, then they got the two on one here. It's not really going to work. We'd have to bring this rook here first. If we're going to do that, to help support the knight, supporting the pawn. But they may beat us to the punch, and they may know this. No, the dancing with the knight again, they're looking to get some sort of pressure around here with the queen. 
we're gonna have to take here type thing opening up space in front of our king so that's maybe what they're looking to do let's have a look at it in real real terms so if we push on the pawn here the bishop takes the pawn we take He's also got this position, hasn't he? That annoying position here with the knights. That's what he's looking for. Yeah, that's what he's looking for there. So we can't push here because the bishop takes the pawn. Is there any way of stopping that? So he gets into here. Our knight is still doing a good job stopping the queen from coming here. Mm, yeah, that's what he's going for. I'm going to hit the pawn. Because they're taking away the two attacking on the pawn here. And we'll see what magic they're coming up with with this knight move. It might be something that I've... Oh, they've gone for the bishop taking the pawn thing. Opening up the space around the king. So we go here. Then the knight drops here attacking the pawn again. Okay, let's go with that. I'm still not seeing the queen get in at the minute. So the knight can come and get the pawn. We can push the pawn up. Because the knight is protecting the pawn. Is there some sort of attack, attack, attack thing going on? Because really that knight's blocked our queen from defending from this area. And if we took, then he takes with a check on our king. We could always just move the king here, just protecting the pawn. What's the knight looking to do? Is it? It's not got any stuff really, has it? I think the rook's coming down here though, isn't it? We already know this. So we move the king here, the rook comes down. Could come to here, could come here, putting a check on the king. We do have space for our own rooks. So I'm actually going to bring the king here, just supporting the pawn for now. And this rook's going to quickly come running across. But like we said, we do we do have this situation. So I'm, I'm still not seeing it. I understand what it is they're attempting to do. It's the answer to chess process, putting pressure on the king and the king area. And the rook does come down. So we can take this pawn while they're going for the magical position. Okay, so they're hitting here. So they've got that twice if we pushed up again. Right, so we didn't actually reckon on that, did we? We reckoned on this, but they've gone here and they've got a two on one. But their knight doesn't have any protection on so the queen can take the knight because we've already taken that pawn so they've probably gone a little bit quick with that maneuver because maybe this should have taken first and then we wouldn't have been able to take the knight but if that had taken we would have just taken the queen off the board with a check their rook takes and then is there something else we could do maybe just push the pawn up to um supported by the knight but anyway that didn't happen and um, they left the knights so the knight got taken so they're urgent to put pressure on the king and the king area and not focusing on supporting their pieces so they may go for a resignation because it doesn't look too meaty for them That was interesting the way we got through that. Yeah, that's quite nice. Because I was I was genuinely thinking I don't see it at the minute. They did shock me with this rook move. Are oh, they still playing on? I better stop monologuing then. Right, so they'll be planning on trying to get the queen here somehow, putting a two on one. Looks like they've left the game. We can take with the queen or can take with the knight. I like the knight being here because it's stopping the queen from jumping there. So we'll, and they have left the game. We'll claim victory on that because I, I like the development on that one. Okay, good game. Five fifteen. Nice long play game. And let's hit the center. Give that a capture. Whoa, let's capture. A bit quick. So I think what I'm needing to look at is pawn structure.
try not to lose a pawn or be down a pawn. Maybe try and avoid doublings of the pawns, even though I'm, I, I'm okay with them at some points, but got to really get the rhythm working, especially in the end game. Let's bring the bishop through. This is what we're used to playing. If the opponent does anything different, then we'll react accordingly, hopefully. Alright, so we could go and try for the cheapy, but obviously the bishop's just going to block it. We want to waste any energy doing that. I'm going to castle. Long play game. It's not like a blitzy rapid thing where you might get away with that. Blitzy bullet game rather rather than rapid. It's kind of trying to force us to go for the, the cheap shot. Go, and then he comes here. This pawn's unprotected, but our bishop's unprotected. Way of getting the bishop off the board. I classed it as my bad bishop anyway, so I think we're going to go for it. Bring the queen back here, attacking the bishop. And it comes here. In essence, they'll be getting rid of their good bishop, in my eyes. Well, after all that, the queen's come out. Bishop supported by the queen. But well, I think what they're looking for is some sort of movement of the queen here. So that the bishop can do this maneuver. So I think that's the rhythm of this type of play. But it develops the bishop out. Key thing to note, the bishop is protecting the pawn. So if we did go and do that... They can actually take and they are on our rook. They're also on this pawn. But the queen is kind of on the other side of the board, so we could use that as a bait. So we attack, queen takes, bring the knight across. So the rook's defended, queen takes the pawn. They've got a bit of a problem there because the knight is there and they'll probably get a bit of a hit anyway. Even if they did come here, we'd be able to put a check on the king. Not a checkmate because he can go here, but we might be able to give it a bit of trouble. So that's what we're going to try anyway. I don't think they're going to take the pawn, but you never know. They might go for this one that we mentioned earlier about looking for the bishop coming here. I've got options and choices. Worst one is taking the pawn. Because we'll get the check on the king. And probably a mate really. Because now the bishop's here stopping that. So you see a little bit of a slick rick thing going on here. Still protecting the pawn. Queen just can't get in. And this pawn is protected by the bishop. We'll have to get some more pieces into the game. What sort of angle is the knight looking at? 
These pawns are doing a good job protecting in the center. A slick rick. What do we do from there? Because the bishop's got no protection if we did push this pawn up. Bring the rook here opposite the king. It's not really blowing the world alight, is it? Well, maybe not that. Might be a slow knight move. It doesn't look like it's got a good passageway to get it up. If we do that, then it's just... Hey? Oh, they took all that time. They took all that calculation time and they've missed that the queen was there. Oh, that's a bit annoying. And they've left the game. There's a resign button, dudes. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, this is a 45 minute and 15 second game. Uh, just getting some practice in. Oh, and they're close to my over the board rating. 1362, I think mine's 1367, isn't it? Right, so this should be pretty realistic. So we're blocking the pawn. My brain went into serious mode then. I was like, okay, equal. Don't look at my rating on here. And this is not my real rating. Real life rating is 1367, I think, currently. So I'm going to bring the knight up, supporting the pawn. And as usual, going to bring the bishop here. Oh no. Oh no, no, they're going for that weird stuff. Read carefully. I don't think we bring the knight up, do we? Because it's blocking the knight. Knight's going to put another check on. Knight is going to put another check on. Somehow I'm thinking we don't want to be keeping it there either. Got 45 minutes to wait. What do we do? Knight comes, knight comes, puts a check. We hide in the corner. And then his queen's got space to come down. I don't think it's too much trouble. Maybe they did the move order wrong. We could just bait the bishop. And if the knight takes and the queen's here at least, they push the pawn and the bishop's on us. And we just come back and save the queen. What do we think? What do we think? Bring this, it just pushes the pawn down. Knight comes here, pawn comes down, knight comes there. I'm gonna bring the knight up. I'm trying to get the rook here and get the king here, but that might not happen. Because there's gonna be lots of activity that we have to dance around with. Not doing that just yet, so potential for movement. Get the rook here. Oh, they're awesome, aren't they? Look at that. Well, the king's not going to be safe. We go here. The pawn isn't hitting a piece, so we can then go here. All just feels like a set play, doesn't it? Let's go with it anyway. I hate tactical play, it takes the soul out of the game. I'm not saying that it's working, but you know, we, we're understanding what they're attempting to do, which is a good thing, which is um, put pressure on the king or the king area, the answer to chess. And we're trying to defend against the answer. And cause it a bit of a problem and then create our own answer once we've weathered the storm of their um, their answer. I'm going to move the king because he's still going to get this here. And the knight is in attacking the bishop. Knight can come back out, come back from this rim. 
What are they doing? Let's bring the knight back. It's either taking or going here. I don't know what the knight's doing here. It's taking, taking, taking. Nope, oh, they're confusing me. I'm looking for the strength of what they've got. Knight comes here, bishop takes, just takes the bishop off the board. Doesn't like the bishop. Or just develops another piece, starts attacking, wants to open up the bishop. I don't know. They've got a very strange playing style. Thankfully, it looks like the pieces aren't working together, which is good. But scattergun approach sometimes can shock and surprise you when they find these positions where you go, eh? I didn't see that. Knight's protecting this twice. Pawns, nothing's touching the knight at the minute. Queen's here by itself, maybe looking to get this, but the bishop's protecting, although the bishop doesn't really want to be on the back like it is, all suffocated. So I've got plenty of time to think, try and get the defense nanny out of the way as best possible. They may slow down and just go for a gentle pawn push like this just to get the bishop out into a normal position rather than overextending and capturing pieces. Because they have slowed down now. Maybe they're thinking, that didn't work out the way it was supposed to work out. I sacrificed the bishop, and but I think it was too early. I won't start monologuing because obviously they could come out with some surprising moves. Because at this moment in time, I'm, I don't know what this position is that they've got. And it could be one of those higgle, higgledy piggledy messes that just totally gets your position riled up and you end up getting squished. But for that brief moment, I think that bishop move was done slightly too early because it didn't have any further support or further attacks towards the King Gary. I'm only saying that so that I remind myself if I'm thinking I'm going to get a bit flash, I've got to remind myself that, well, is it really, has it got a continuation? So we could attack the Queen, but that's probably what they want us to do. And where is it looking to go? Is it trying to do something? We are attacking the knight as well. Maybe the knight takes, bishop takes. It's not leaning, it's not leaning on our king yet, so let's go with that. And if they take, take with the bishop. With my bad bishop. King side bishop. Oh, they're not doing that, so they're going to get a pawn in the middle. Take. We're going to get a pawn in the middle. Oh, they've brought this pawn in. You would have thought this pawn would have come up. Okay. Very strange playing system, like I said, so you've got to be very mindful. Just push, just to block it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Could attack the knight. Doesn't have to take. Are we making it go somewhere we don't want it to go to? No, because it could just take the pawn. Pawn could hit the knight. Not going to go here to hit it. Not going to go there because we'll take it, so it has to go back. It's a bit annoying for them, isn't it? <laughs> what do we go? Save Nanny. Locking in my bad bishop, making it worse. Although it can go here, the knight. And it's central. It's not a very nice position for us. Tuck it.
Hmm. Don't think there's anything wrong with the palm push, but has it got anything after it? Probably go here. I don't think the knight's going to go back there. Then we can attack it because it's got no protection. So it can go here and it can go there and it can go here. then after we've done that and the bishop is here what is our plan because we need to be looking at don't really want to make these pawns get any further down but the knight I suppose can take if that happens right let's hit the knight it's basically a one two there so I don't really know what they're going to do after this so I do think they're going there so we'll bring the bishop here And that's the one two strike because they've got so many options to choose from the queen could come and defend as well yeah so we'll bring the bishop here and that's where we stop because we don't really know what where they're going is the queen coming oh my gosh didn't even put that one in there i thought the bishop already had that uh, but anyway i'm just going to push because the bishop's attacking the knight the knight has got no protection goes here that's okay. It's attacking the pawn. Maybe not so okay. Rook can come here defending. Then he puts a two on one. And we don't have another piece that can. Well, we do have the queen, but really, we're not going to take our. So it looks like they've done a fabulous whirlwind. And they're going to get a pawn back. Knight could go and defend, but I don't think the knight's going to stay there too long because the pawn's going to hit it. Mm hmm. Right, so don't be too precious about the pawn. Let's see if we can improve the position. Knight can come, attacking the pawn. Queen's protecting. That pawn's going to have gone. So we could. Not that because the knight can take the bishop. Hmm? Rook comes across. We know their rook is coming across. Knight comes to defend, but we know the pawn's going to hit it. Right. What else is there? What's the magical move? Hit this pawn. Hit this pawn. He takes with the knight. Take with the pawn. Pawn takes. Makes a bit of space. Pawn takes. Bishop's no longer coming here. Is it at all? Uh, but, but, let me see. What is it? What is it? Come on. What is the answer to this strange playing style? I think it's about not being greedy. Looks like we have lost the pawn. Let's bring the rook anyway. We know this is going to come. We have sights on this ish. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Bishop's still on the back, so we don't really want that on the back, but it doesn't really have a good place to go to. Um, not sure about the delay, really. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, that, isn't it? And we don't have anything else because we've worked through everything else on there. On drops trying to find the magic is just not there there's no point bringing that <gasps> they haven't done that simple obvious maneuver which is good i don't want them doing that that's fine are we falling into something they're giving us the pawn 
rooks there so now the rook is all in the file type thing maybe i shouldn't overthink it and just take the pawn off the board try and get this bishop out but maybe if they take with the pawn the bishop's not coming out take with the rook the bishop can come out but we've got to forget not well we've got to remember the queen is chomping at the bit to take this pawn but that means the queen is on the other side of the board remember the greedy munching videos that we've done in the recent past and past past sometimes you can just give them a little treat but the queen's gone over to the other side so the bishop's not coming here now but the knight can do this and it can go here it's got to check on the queen got to check on the pawn as well it goes here it's got nothing just the queen i'm thinking the knight can come here attacking the pawn and the queen obviously and then there's space here for the bishop to come here to attack the queen and it was there so what's he looking to do he's looking for the answer with a single piece if we go here is his queen trapped Or can he get out? Can't go here, can't go there. Can't go there, can't go there. So he's going to have to take a piece, either the knight or the bishop. Or even take the rook, actually. Taking a higher piece, probably. Probably going to take the rook. Yeah, we'll take the rook. Again, it's a quirky player you never know until it's over but it does look like the queen is trapped they don't have a an attack on our queen and our king so there's no forks from the magical knights rook taking the bishop that's not going to help the case really so yeah that was nice talking through that one 1362 nice one my brethren in the ratings Mm -hmm. I won't start monologuing because you've seen stranger things happen in these types of games where I blob it or something but it does look half decent I think there is definitely no escape Yeah, so those weird openings can be quite frightening because it just, they're just all over the place but they're not interested in they're just going for I'm just going to take I don't really need to talk about that just take and they're still playing on that's the annoying thing about when they just keep playing on you think I've fallen for something here so we take with the rook to keep on in the file with the rook or take with the bishop in the knight and attack his rook and the bishop looks happy there mm. if he doesn't take the bishop then we could take the knight off the board okay I'm going to do that because maybe they were looking to attack the rook with the bishop or something he hasn't forgotten so the queen looking to come here to try and put some pressure on the pawn in front of the king do we fall foul of something no nope, no checks no checks the rook can come down but we can take it bishops hitting here so i think the queen can come here looking to attack here obviously simple pawn push but we can take the knight off the board Or bring the knight back okay fair enough so as simple as a simple does i think we can take the knight off the board and trade that's where bishop so the bishop's going to be attacking the queen coming here yep. and 
can swing across attacking the pawn. Yep. Obviously defends. Try to fashion some way of attacking up here now with the rook. Or in fact just x-raying through to their rook. Does their bishop have some funky check on the king? Not yet. So I'm just going to x-ray through to the rook. This pawn's probably going to come and support. None of that is happening. So I'm going to put a check on the king and get the rook off the board. This is making me look really smooth, but hey, um, I like it, I like it, it's good. And they've resigned. Nice game.